Okay, so the new Remarkable 3.0 beta is now available and I wanted to walk you through my initial impressions. This is legitimately me running the software for the first time and I think it'll be a really good representation of what it's like to transition from the 2.0 software to the 3.0 software. So let's dig into it. So a new way to take notes. Welcome to the start of a new chapter of Remarkable. These are some major changes and they're gonna want our feedback on this. Uh, I hope so, I hope they listen to it. It has an upgraded writing experience, new gestures, and enhanced options for sharing and converting handwritten notes. These changes will gradually enable seamless note-taking and editing across other devices. Um, I hope this is really good because I can no longer get DDBK hacks on this device. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this looks like the Remarkable that I know. Let's go into the menu. All right, there's new filters. Okay, that, that's the same thing, just looks a little different. Uh, integrations has Google Drive again same thing looks a little different let's go into settings it's running 3.0.0.1159 you have connect in this case Wi-Fi menu looks the same battery menu looks the same storage looks the same Left-handed, normal size. Huh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm not plugged in, so that all looks right. I need to blur that. Uh, okay, that all looked kind of the same. That didn't feel significantly different. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into something a little different. Better paper to stay focused. Our notebooks take full advantage of the flexibility of digital paper for taking notes, typing, and sketching. Pages can now be as long or as short as you need, allowing you to stay focused. That's pretty cool. So I often will run into this issue where I get to the edge of my paper and I've run out of room. So hopefully this will be a nice upgrade. Okay, start onboarding. You now have a new writing experience. In addition to different pen strokes that work with your marker, you can also take advantage of type text. Use the on-screen keyboard to add structure. Okay, okay. Note taking across devices. To make the most of typing, use our desktop app to write, view, or edit your notes. All right, I do have the new desktop app, so I'll try that out here in a little bit. And navigating, swipe up to get more space to write. Scroll with two fingers to move around the page. Pinch to zoom, to zoom, okay. Browsing the page, swipe horizontally to turn the page. That's how it's always worked. Swipe up from the bottom to get a preview of pages in the document. Drag cursor left to right, okay. Switching between files. Swipe down with one finger from the top to close the document and return to my files. Swipe down from the top, hold on. Swipe down with one finger from the top to close the document. Swipe down from the top of two fingers to view reason. Okay, that's kind of how it always worked. Okay, let's give it a go. So, swipe down. Okay, that works the way you would expect. Okay, you get two recents. Okay. Um, let's write down here. That feels a little different. And I have no eraser now because I don't have and I have no eraser now because I don't have DDBK. You can also select whole portions of the page. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I heard there was like a, a back gesture. How do I, oh, double tap. It's not doing it. How do I, okay, do this. Double tap the page, oh, two fingers. To, okay, okay, let's try that. Go away, I'm good. Two fingers. Oh, so good. It's like good notes. Oh, this is great. I don't need the eraser anymore. Oh, writing tools. Express yourself in various ways with your marker or type letters. Oh, okay, hold on. Typing. Mm. Typing on the remarkable. It's not my favorite. 
and you can see why. It's okay, but it's not great. All right, you've got different formats. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, fine, I'll do it. Small, big, really small, bullets. Okay. Okay, nothing special. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. I don't wanna type anymore. Can I tap to move it? How do I move it? Do I hold? Okay. I'm sure there's like a really obvious way to do this, but it's not clear to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure there's an easy way to do it. I just don't know how. Like I know how to get back in here, but I don't know how to make it go away. And then I can, uh -huh. the, re the rewind gesture is really nice. Like this is one of my favorite things from Good Notes. Now, okay, can I triple tap to redo? Oh, so good. This is great. This is one of like my favorite things from DDVK. And now I can do it without DDVK. So that is fantastic. All right, let's go back to writing. So I type my, write my name. Ah, so good. Okay. Redo, redo will be with triple tap. That makes sense. Selection tool. Oh, that's probably how I move my type. Okay, so hold on, let's type some more. So get rid of that letter, go up here. I still have it all under one, which isn't great. Okay, my, oh, as you backspace, it moves up. What the heck, okay. My type, okay. So now I can take the selection, I would think. Hmm, that didn't work the way I thought it would. I would think I could take the selection and as long as I drew a selection around it, I could move it. Yeah, there's an easy way to do it. I just don't know what it is yet. Okay. Uh, I'm so used to DDVK that I'm not used to having this X up here and I really don't want it, but that's fine. It's definitely gonna be a little bit of a learning curve getting used to not having that anymore. Okay, where did the rest of my page go? Like, I had notes on this page. They disappeared. Are they gone, gone? They're gone. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't need that. Uh, this was just kind of a junk document, but uh, yeah, be careful about backspacing um, beyond the original origin of the page. It doesn't like that. So hold on, let me see if I can recreate that issue. So if I go in here and I, I want a new one. Can I get it? Okay, so I can write while typing, which is kind of interesting. How does it know that I want that one? All right, so let's, okay. Yeah, you backspace and it like moves up. This is interesting. Okay, so if I go in here and I go to do some text. Okay, so I have a new text cursor, right? It's below-ish what I'm working on. Make it go to the top. Yeah, it erases it. I don't know if this is a feature or a bug, um, but who knows. Okay, all right, let's go into the strokes. Strokes look like what we're used to. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, tags. I think it's just like a new onboarding experience. A lot of this stuff is all the same, just a little different. Screen sharing is still here. Send by email is still here. Again, just an onboarding experience. You can change your document. Okay, that's all the same. Search. Okay, so this will search the text. So if I look for HFF, okay. Yeah, on the device itself, I'm not sure how often I'm actually gonna do this. Here, let's go into a document that has a few more pages. So if I two finger scroll up, oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm scrolling the page there. That's pretty nifty. 
And then I assume, so I'm scrolling, the, I can scroll the page up with two fingers here. So, ah, yeah, that's really cool. I'm curious to see what that looks like on the Remarkable app. Can I also scroll? Okay. Oh, but I don't have infinite margin. I can zoom out. Okay. But it does feel like there's like a, a bound. It's not infinite the way like I imagined it would be here. So they give you a little bit of room to the left and the right, and you have as much room as you need scrolling down, it seems like. Let me scroll back in here. All right, why can I not zoom in? Okay, I can zoom in. Okay, it's still not infinite though. Like, oh, it is infinite. It's just, they only give you more if you're using it. Okay, but it is large. Okay, so let's go to the right and see if it'll give me more room to the right. And it seems to have like some some magnetism to try and get you to natural size, which is really nice. You, you see the little like black borders go kick in right there. That's when you're at one to one ratio, which is cool. All right, so scroll to the right. Let's see if I have, yeah, I don't, I don't have infinite margin and I'm used to being able to toggle this with a gesture, but I can't anymore. Okay, so that's as far as you can go that way. Okay, let's get this back to normal aspect ratio. Oh, I love that magnetism there. Okay, so I can still swipe with one page. Okay. All right, so I think that's by and large the Remarkable 3 experience right now. Um, yeah, I think, oh, it said something about thumbnails. Let me, let me see if I can pull that up. So if I go in here, thumbnails still look the same. I can send these, I can tag these, create a new page here. I think that's new. Um, hmm, okay. Let's see, do we get anti-aliasing on scroll? That was interesting, what is this? Is that, me, is that it asking me if I want another page? That's kind of nice. So it doesn't just give you a new page. It's like, hey, are you sure? That's actually really nice. I've created lots of pages unintentionally when I'm really just trying. All right, I got to remember that I don't have DDBK eraser. Oh, I can also go back. So hold on. Ah, so great. So great. Like this is the best feature from Good Notes, And now... I would like to say that I do prefer the super note two finger hold and draw. Like that's really handy, but this is really darn close. This is great. This is one of the main reasons why I like the DDBK hacks because it gives me because it gives me a gesture to do undo. Um, but I do still want easy tool switching, which I don't have here, and I need an easy way to toggle this on and off. But overall, not bad. Because as a lefty, if I'm writing up here, I'm gonna end up closing the document. So I basically have to remember to close this every time. And and that's not that big a deal, but it's just something, just minor annoyance. So those are initial impressions from the device itself. I'm also going to pull up the Remarkable app and see what that looks like. So I'm now here within the Remarkable 3 desktop app to see what those changes I just did look like on desktop. So let's start with this reinstall homebrew file. And sure enough, that content that I had in there is gone, but can I? It looks like I can type, but I can't. Okay, so it looks like, unless I'm missing something, you can't actually edit in here yet. Yeah, you can copy the text, it looks like. You can definitely copy the text, but you can't edit it yet. And then let's hop over into this one. I wanna see what that page looks like that I made larger. Okay. Oh, all right. So I assume I can still zoom in on this. Text looks good. That was text that I had written in the old version. This is text that I wrote in the new version. I'd say it, it largely looks the same. 
I'm not using a trackpad here, so I can't really four-way scroll this, but uh, I wish you could hold shift and scroll left and right in the Remarkable app, but you can't. And it shows the full bounds, so because I zoomed out and wrote in the margin, it now is a wider sheet of paper than before. But I would argue this looks about like what you would expect. You still have your pages, that all looks good. There's two extra pages that I created. Let me go back to here. And then if I search, okay, yeah. And so you have search across multiple pages. Okay, so what are my initial impressions? I think this is a good foundational release for Remarkable 3.0. It adds the ability to have text and also has a bunch of quality of life improvements specifically around undo and redo and being able to make your pages longer. That is definitely something that I run into on a regular basis where I run to the end of the page of this arbitrary eight and a half by 11, if you will, sheet of paper and I have a little bit more to say and no real room to say it. And then I have to go to a new sheet when it's really a continuation of the existing thought. I think this is a really good step in the right direction in that regard. Also really handy from a margin perspective when you have a little bit more to say there too. I also run into that where I'm drawing something, I need just a little bit more room, and now I can just zoom out to do that, which is really, really nice. I think by and large, the rest of the system is largely unchanged, at least from a user experience perspective. They added a really great wizard for onboarding, but by and large, not a whole lot of additional features other than that. Again, this is just the 3.0.0 release, and so I'm sure they're gonna make additional changes before the global release, and definitely they're gonna add a bunch more to the Remarkable app itself, because right now you still can't type. And I know their big vision is that you can type on the computer, see it on your tablet, and vice versa. So those are my initial impressions. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.